This is the moment that triggered the upheaval taking over Iran, the arrest of Masa Amini by the so-called morality police for wearing her headscarf incorrectly. Amini died in custody days later, her family accusing police of beating her. They deny it. Her death has become a flashpoint. Iran's long simmering tensions now pouring out into the streets. One of the fiercest displays of opposition to the country's hardline leadership ever. Protesters say they're fighting for their freedom and they won't back down. Don't think it's just today, these students chant. We're gathering every day. Some people have erroneously tried to say that this is the hijab protest. This is really a wrong characterization. This is a movement about freedom of choice. There have been uprisings against the Iranian regime, its strict interpretation and enforcement of Islam in the past. Just three years ago, thousands protested, calling for the overthrow of Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei. In 2017, women dubbed the Girls of Revolution Street tied their hijabs to sticks, waving them in the streets of Tehran. And in 2009, it was the Green Movement, or Persian Spring, a mass protest against then-President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. None have loosened the grips of Iran's clerical rulers in charge of the country since the Islamic Revolution of 1979. Before then, Iran was a secular society, no enforced dress code and no strict religious laws. Professor Sharzad Mojab was a women's activist in Tehran in the early days of hardline clerical rule. Is this moment a tipping point, do you think? I hope it is. There has been a massive cultural political change that I think that it would be difficult to sort of return to what it was in the past. Mojab and others point to how widespread these protests are, how they're bringing together different groups of society, angry at the country's leaders and suffering in an economy hobbled by sanctions. Consider this video, dozens of drivers honking in solidarity with student protesters as security forces raided the campus of their university. Here's a situation where, frankly, people of different ages, generations, backgrounds, um, political persuasions, um, um, you know, have really come together and they've remained unified over the broader consensus of needing to reclaim Iran and to reclaim a free and tolerant Iran. The regime is fighting back. Dozens have been killed in the clashes, a number likely to rise. Still, there is hope that this time, change may come. Ellen Morrow, CBC News, Toronto.